All right, welcome back. So um, let's follow up with a uh, numerical MATLAB example. Um, we are looking at this system and in the previous video, if you remember, um, we looked at as a candidate spring mass damper system, assumed mass is unknown, spring constant, damping constants are unknown, and we put the system into this form. And this 1 over m x s your uncertainty in the control effectiveness. And usually, again, um, I would like to add one more thing to my explanation in the previous video. Usually, um, it is 1, and because think about it, you more or less know the mass of the system, and lambda results from the reduction of the control efficiency, maybe some misbehaving of a robot, uh, power reduction, so on and so forth. But in this case, since we assumed nothing is known, 1 over m pops up here as an uncertainty um, lambda. And the other uncertain terms are here. We are doing structured uncertainty case, so these are known. Um, all right, so we have nominal controller. We have UA, adaptive controller, don't forget. Theta that you implement is different than theta zero, it needs to inc include your nominal control signal as well for the reason that I explained in the previous video. And um, you have your weight update low, gamma is positive adaptation gain, theta is the basis here, x minus xr, this was E, P, you are basically getting it by solving this Lyapunov equation, and this is the reference model that you designed when um, uh, there was no uncertainty, meaning that theta zero was zero and lambda was identity. In this case, since nothing is known, we kind of have an empty A matrix and empty B matrix. Um, and we come up with some K1 and K2 uh, for the reference model. I hope everything is clear, so I am going to proceed to the code. Um, uh, here is the code. Basically, I, the code will be three parts, and you you need you need you can open a MATLAB file. Type these three parts, basically, uh, like this plus this, plotting simulation, and the initial part of the code. Then you, when you generate hit the run button, you are going to generate exactly the same results that I generate. Uh, total simulation time, 40 seconds. This is like first order Euler methods discretization sampling, 0.005 seconds. Uh, I am going to assume mass unknown, 5 kilograms. Alpha is the constant 2.5, damping constant 1. These are our A and B matrices I just showed you. Lambda is the um, control effectiveness uncertainty I just showed you. Um, w0 minus alpha minus beta was our uncertainty. I don't want to say it again, but I just showed you. All right, I am going to use LQR, and I am going to satisfy this condition for K1 and K2 like this. Then I am defining AR and BR. I am going to set the initial condition of XR to uh, zero. Again, uh, I always encourage right learning. So code it yourself. Um, in the example part, implement make this non-zero, play with it, change these parameters, tune yourself, adaptation gain, I will start from zero, then increase, it needs to be positive. So get an experience yourself. You, you know, I can only help you to develop some theoretical, and I am sharing with you my experience. You also need to repeat this experience yourself to learn. Learning is a different process. Likewise, when, when you see the theoretical parts of this lecture, prove, use these Lyapunov functions, prove things by yourself. This way you will learn. Implement, prove. Implement, prove. Then you will have the full understanding of adaptive control. All right, so um, AR transpose. So there is a reason for that, unfortunately. If you implement, if you don't put transpose here in MATLAB, then MATLAB show, solves this equation. This is a version of Lyapunov equation, but not the Lyapunov equation we use. Our transpose is here. Um, so that's why I include here. So in my playlist, uh, Advanced Control Systems, um, I mentioned this story. Forgetting putting it here, this transpose caused me some time. 
and I debug my code when I was PhD student. Um, everything was perfect. Everything was matching with the theory, but code was not working. And the reason was I forget this transpose. So that's why I always emphasize in my classes, um, online lectures, don't forget that. It's a big deal. All right, solution for W hat. This is three by one. Why three by one? Don't forget, look at here. U is in this case, you have one control input, this is one by one. So this needs to be one by one. This is, this part is two by one. UN is one by one. So this is three by one. So this needs to be uh, three by one transpose such that this multiplication will be one by one. That's why the initial condition for W hat is three by one. Second part of the code is the implementation simulation part that just follows the previous page. Um, the, there is a command basically that I apply. It is one for 10 seconds, then it is minus one. This is time minus one, one, command T. It is changing like this for every 10 seconds. You can also use the square command of MATLAB. I, I am, I guess, sometimes old fashioned because I was, you know, uh, Earlier in my career, I was doing like this. Square should be invented or introduced to the MATLAB uh, some time ago, but uh, after my um, PhD, I may be wrong. So I never, no one mentioned me about Square. Anyway, this is the nominal control. This is the adaptation. Um, don't forget the transpose here. Total control is UN plus UA. This is uh, the imp how I implement the reference model. This is uh, how I implement the weight update law. And this is the actual system, um, lambda W0. You can pause the video, take the screenshot. Um, this is basically what we theoretically have in the slide just coded using first order Euler's method. Data recording part, saving everything and then plotting everything. I am not going to dive into the details here. Um, there are many ways to plot. Um, all right. The first case is the gamma equals to zero case. Here I should mention that um, I designed, sorry, I, I need to go back one more time. If you look at here, you will see this. This is our C matrix coming from the previous video. Basically, it is one zero. Don't forget this system has two states, position and velocity. Um, and I want position to approach to the command. That's why I choose basically C matrix to be one zero. I am interested in position to follow the applied command. For this reason, X1, our position state, if um, basically this is the applied yellow command, this is C of T, Blue line is the basically XR1 of the reference model. Of course, reference model is not subject to an uncertainty. It perfectly tracks, you know, that uh, command. X2 is the velocity, um, and this is blue is the ideal behavior to achieve this level of tracking. And U is the, right now, the nominal control signal since gamma zero implies adaptation to stop. And as you see, because of the uncertainty, actual system state X1 and X2 are not perfect the following the reference model. To improve this, we introduce gamma equals to 1. When gamma equals to 1, we start to do better. Actually, if you run this code probably for 120 or longer, eventually we are going to converge. Um, but right now, you see from here to here, performance gets improved, but um, it's a slow process. Increasing adaptation will make uh, learning faster or weight update low to adapt faster. We make it 10. Now around actually after the first 10 seconds, I would say very, very nice, you know, basically error. X minus XR converging to zero. Our uncertain system performance approaches this ideal system performance captured by the reference model for both states. And... Um, and that's about it. Now, as this being said, um, we are, um, I should highlight something practical. Um, we are applying square command very harshly. Usually, 
we we pass this um, harsh signals through a uh, low pass filter looking like this you know this is c so instead of directly applying c to the system we inject a filtered version to the reference model as well as the nominal controller such that this will be yellow line will be more like uh, smoothened version in this case you are going to avoid such spikes because these are generally not desired you know um, um, let me know if I should make maybe after covering everything practical aspects in adaptive control implementations maybe such a video uh, would be great um, but this is one of the practical aspects since right now my purpose in this video is to illustrate the previous material this illustrates previous material material when adaptation you can recover the system performance when you increase gamma you learn faster you suppress the uncertainty faster but um, i also wanted to mention about this practical fact if to avoid those spikes smoothen your uh, comment so again how to do that instead of i will go here then finish the video bear with me one more second you know instead of applying comment here and here just apply basically the filtered version of the comment and in time domain cf dot is basically some lambda um, c minus this is also a low pass filter and you know you can select lambda to be one through three four five so as you increase lambda uh, as you as you decrease this lambda uh, you are going to smoothen the control performance more and more so something to keep in mind of course don't make it so small then your you will this will affect the performance usually uh, this also differs from the application to application but for flight control applications i just i generally choose it between two to four or four to eight um, um, and um, this will get, cut these spikes in the control signal something good, good to know thanks for watching so we're gonna follow up with the next material